Kamusta sa kayo lahat? Ako sports Marky Mark, ang host niyo for tonight's show, Pinoy Crossover with Filipinos Talking Basketball. Alongside with me, our fellow co-host, James, how are you feeling today? Good, good. Good to be back. <laughs> awesome. It's going to be a great night, guys. And our special guest, please introduce yourself. Uh, Jesse Isido, uh, CEO of Mega City Basketball. I'm, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank awesome. you for having me. Yeah, we're excited to have you. And I know we've been, you know, I've been trying to schedule you to come in. And we're actually excited to have you because yeah. now we get to know a little bit about you because, you know, everybody knows about Mega City, but we don't know, the, you know, all about the person that's man that started and the man behind it. So right. we want to get to know a little bit about you. So tell us a little bit sure. about yourself. Uh, so uh, where do I start? Uh, uh, Co-founded Mega City Basketball uh, back in 2009. Um, and that's taken me to so many different places. Uh, in the world of basketball. I, for, for a time I worked in the National Basketball League of Canada, um, so that was very interesting. So uh, I just love the game. Uh, since I was a little kid, I was the kid who would organize at recess, like who's playing who. Oh, the job, like the yeah. runs. <laughs> uh, I was yeah. always that kid, whether yeah. it was elementary school or high school. So no one was surprised when I said, hey, we're open out, o opening up a league. Yeah. People were like, when, yeah, we, we kind of <laughs> knew that that was going to happen. We yeah. were kind of waiting. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, that's, I guess, in a nutshell, uh, who I am. And, uh, I mean, it's just, just an incredible ride uh, Mega City Basketball has been for me. We're going to be celebrating 10 years. Wow. Uh, but outside of basketball, um, I also... Um, uh, one of the founding members of Rise Tribe, mm -hmm. um, which is, uh, they've just been doing such great things. Yeah. And I'm just so happy that that exists because that didn't exist when I started my company. Yeah. Yeah. So that's me in a nutshell. I'm also a um, podcaster, uh, entrepreneur, um, all around, rapper, basically. actor, <laughs> uh, chef, everything. Yeah, everything that you need. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm yeah. playing. How did, how did basketball start for you uh, at a young age? Like, what was your you know, earliest memory of it? Uh, Man, it's, I'm going to assume it's yeah. kind of like you guys yeah. uh, in a Filipino household. Yeah. Um, you know, Jesus is here. Yeah. Jesus, you know, yeah. Jesus, Mary, Filipinos. Joseph, yeah. and then Michael Jordan is <laughs> like, right here. Right? And then Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, and then Pacquiao somewhere here, and then karaoke somewhere yeah. over here. But oh, sometimes man. basketball goes, oh, sorry, yeah. God, no, 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 uh -huh. we love you. And yeah. then, uh, but yeah, so... So basketball, I just, I've been thrown into to a family that's just yeah. basketball crazy. Uh, and uh, I just have so many memories of watching the Bulls. Yeah. And uh, my uncles and aunts, they love the Bulls. So I naturally, I love the Bulls. Yeah. And then when, when the NBA expanded to Toronto in 95, mm -hmm. like it was a wrap. It was basketball <laughs> like forever. Yeah. And basketball has changed my life. Yeah. I would so not know what I'd be doing without basketball. Without basketball you know? I so, see uh, yeah, I guess that's how I got into it. Yeah. I see. So, yeah. like, f for you, it's basketball, right? Yeah. So, what's like the process? Because I, I saw in your previous interview right. that uh, not a lot of people believe in you. Like, you thought, um, oh, it's just basketball. Because for Filipinos, like you said, right. be, you should be nurse, you should be doctor. Yeah. But what is the process? Because I, what I saw in your last interview, you said not a lot of people believe in you, and then. Now Mega City on their tenth year. So you started in two thousand nine, right. and then you have Akil Augustine playing for Mega City, Duan Watson, who's like NBA TV host. Right. Yeah. So what is it like? What's the process like for? Um, so I guess we rewind back to two thousand and nine. Yeah. You know, I'm very grateful. I had parents that supported yeah. what I wanted to do. Not like, uh, hey, you got to be a nurse yeah. uh, or you got to be an <laughs> or accountant. All in that, yeah, highway. You know? <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, my my career was never shaped by my parents. My parents said, you know, we're here, so we're in, in the land of opportunity. We want you to do what you love. So I, I'm very grateful because yeah. a lot of people, even in my circle yeah. or people that I know, they're stuck doing something they don't want to yeah. do. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, that's just, it, it's sad to, yeah. <laughs> to, be very, yeah. to be very honest. And I always yeah. try to pull them back yeah. and say, hey, you need to start working on something. You, there's got to be a hustle. There's got to be something you can do on the side yeah. so that eventually you can do something that you love. Yeah. Because, hey, guys, we're here one time, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Vicky, you, can, yeah. you know, so you, sh you should do something that, that you love. And, and um, so that's something that I've, I've always, you know, has always been in my mind like I have to do something that I love because when you're doing something you love um, it's not work like uh, and I was just telling you backstage yeah. um, you know I sleep four hours 
But I'm totally okay with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as you do whatever you want. Yeah, to, I, I, I wake you. up and I'm excited yeah. and I'm ready to go because, <laughs> um, hey, you know, life goes fast. I'm mm -hmm. going to be 70 one day and I'm going to look back and yeah. I don't want to have any regrets yeah. about, uh, you know, what I've done in my life. Yeah. But uh, the process, sorry, yeah. I went, you know, into yeah. another yeah. <laughs> um, tangent there. But um, uh, it, I, I spent zero marketing dollars. Yeah. In the first four or yeah. five years, zero. Yeah. It was all through word of mouth. Yeah. So, you know, um, at the time, and if you can imagine this, this was pre Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. There was no Instagram at yeah. this time, right? And YouTube yeah. was still yeah. at Yeah, it's still age. growing and all that stuff. So, what um, me and, and the co founder, Nathaniel, and shout out to uh, Nathaniel, wherever you are, <laughs> yeah. um, he, he's, he's moved on. He's, he's mm. actually in the States now. Okay. But um, when we came up with this idea, it was to create a pro experience for anybody. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a pro, mm -hmm. but you can feel like a pro on and off the court. Yeah. So we were the first to introduce this type of a yeah. concept to a league. So yeah. you come into your game, you get, you get the stats, you get mm -hmm. the articles, you get the yeah. photos, the video, the highlights, mm -hmm. uh, and it's just like, uh, you know, just like the yeah. NBA. It's uh, uh, what I an experience too, all like day, every day. You guys grab coaches. And right. GM making yeah. trades yeah. and doing all this. It's things. a full experience. I yeah. want it to be so much like the. I love the NBA, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I want it to be so much like the NBA. Yeah. Like we have a draft. Yeah. Uh, we have and, trades. And combine. We have, yeah. yeah, we have a combine. <laughs> yeah. um, and as a kid who organized yeah. like recess and, yeah. and and games, this is like I'm living a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, doing all these things and mm -hmm. and and a big thing for us that I think is is, is why we're here ten years later is we didn't want to settle for like okay refs. We want yeah. the best refs possible, mm -hmm. right? We don't want to settle for okay courts. We want mm -hmm. the best courts possible. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like our, our whole thing. Like we want the absolute best for our players. We don't yeah. want to just, okay, here's, here's your t-shirt and like <laughs> yeah, go okay. enjoy. Yeah. yeah, the refs kind of suck, but yeah. you know, you get what you pay for. That's yeah. not what we're about, yeah, you know? Uh, so, you know, that, that's, that's kind of the process and yeah. little by little word spread. Um, to the point where, you know, we were talking about this earlier, yeah. uh, I think the big moment for me was when Alvin Williams came up to yeah. me and said, I heard you're the guy who has my jersey. <laughs> yeah. And as a kid who watched Alvin Williams yeah, uh, play, I could not, like, I was just yeah. starstruck and just, um, yeah, I would never imagine that in my wildest dreams, but uh, it's, it's all possible, man. Yeah. Just got to put in work. Yeah. yeah. Wow, I mean, there's so much more to ask. Me, but <laughs> I could have went so off forever, good, man. Uh, But my last question is to kind of end it off the segment is, what's your advice for uh, Filipinos, not just Filipinos, for people out there who had you know, dreams or are ambitions and goals in their life that they want to go for and, and side hustles that they're pursuing? What's your advice for them? No, that's a great question. Um, and uh, there's a lot of really great Filipino entrepreneurs nowadays. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I couldn't say the same 10 years ago. Yeah. Um, I felt like I was one of only a only few, few. Yeah. Um, but I see some great things there. But honestly, don't listen to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> if your parents are telling you you need uh, to be a nurse, yeah. but you don't want to be a nurse, don't be a nurse. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. you're going to be that person living that life. Mm -hmm. um, so at Megacity, a lot of people come through Megacity and now they're working and doing greater things yeah. outside of Megacity. They, they took some experience from us. And every person who comes through that door, I always tell them, you put in, you put in the work. Mm -hmm. If you put in great work, people are gonna notice you. Yeah. Okay, they say, oh wow, that's, that's great work right yeah. there. Yeah. Jesse, who, who did that? Yeah. Oh yeah, it was, it was her or it was yeah. him. Yeah. And then because of that, opportunities will come up. Yeah. And uh, I'm living proof of those things. You put in hard work, like you work super hard, okay? Yeah. As long as you um, do whatever, what you love. Yeah, yeah. You, you just, you, like a minute shouldn't be wasted. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, when, I, when you're at work, you got a 50 minute break, don't go on YouTube and just like, <laughs> you know, oh, that's funny. Like spend that 50 minutes and like really, like be productive yeah. in that time. So in short, put in work. If it's great work, people are gonna notice. Mm -hmm. People notice you, opportunities will come up. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, I tell that to my son. Yeah. Uh, I tell that to my nieces and nephews. That's, that's, that's the formula, man. It's very yeah. simple. Yeah. You don't put any hard work. Believe me, no one's going to notice you. Angry. And zero opportunities are going to come yeah. up. Wow. That's an amazing advice, Jesse. <laughs>